Japan. Japan swimming out of lane eight. Ryo Shirai will lead them off. Higurashi, Jinu, and Takahashi swimming the fourth In leg. lane one, Great Britain. Yes, Great Britain in lane one to be led off there by Anna Hopkin, and then finally Harris and Abby Wood will bring them home. In lane seven, Sweden. Sweden in seven. Sarah Junovic, Michelle Coleman, the experienced veteran, Hansen, in lane two, Austin, People's Republic home. of China. China have lane two here, and uh, it'll be Yang and then Cheng Wu and Zhang Yufei swimming the anchor leg. In lane six, United States of America. Team USA in six, Tori Husk will lead them off. Kate Douglas, the IM champion, swimming the second leg. Curzon and Brown. In lane three, Canada. Canada, Smith, Ruck, McNeil, Savard, that's a strong team. Lane five, Netherlands. Netherlands in five, they are the world record holders, but a new team of four, that's Bush, Toussaint, Van Roon, and, and in lane Bergen. four, Australia. And Australia. Favourites for the gold medal here will be led off by Molly O'Callaghan. Excellent in the backstroke earlier this evening. Wilson, Harris and Emma McKeon will swim the final leg. Australia in the Netherlands been great sprint rivals over the last, well, 20 years really. They have the middle lanes here, four and five, in the women's four by one freestyle relay. This is their baby for the women's team. They love this four by one relay. They've won the last three Olympic titles and they're a big chance to challenge the world record tonight. Led off by Molly O'Callaghan, anchored by Emma McKeon. Away we go, Australia and the Netherlands in four and five, flanked there by Canada and the USA. It's not bad for the Australians when they're led off by the world long course champion and anchored by the Olympic champion. So that's O'Callaghan and McKeon. But a good start down there for the United States with Corey Huss swimming the opening lead. Yeah, missed the start did O'Callaghan. We know she's a strong back half racer when it comes to the 100 freestyle, but Husk has got a huge lead, 0.9 over O'Callaghan in the middle of the pool. So a real good early lead off from Tori Husk, the American, and also going out fast is Anna Hopkin in that red cap of Great Britain. So the United States, they need to get out in front if they want to challenge the Australian team, because we know how many good swimmers they still have to come. Hopkin might be taking this one over. O'Callaghan in third. Yeah, Hopkin, an excellent first. The first lead by the swimmer for the Great Britain. It's the United States who lead though. In second place, it's Great Britain. Kate Douglas in the water there for the Americans. Finally for Great Britain. In there and now for Australia is Wilson. Yeah, Douglas, fresh off her gold medal in the 200 IM. We know she's a strong freestyler. And then we get to see her in this 100 freestyle relay. So the Americans leading through the first 150. This would be some sort of upset. Maddie Wilson starting to take a little bit of ground off them. And they're pulling away from the field. And the under world record pace at the moment will keep an eye on that red line. Tori Huss getting them under world record pace and uh, well it's starting to edge away now. Just starting to edge away as Douglas completes her swim. In goes Kersey. It's still the United States. Australia has moved up to second and Harris is swimming the second leg. The Great Britain team has dropped back to six. Yeah, big time swim there from Kate Douglas. She holds the lead. Wilson with a 51.2 second split. But that leads a body length. And Canada's moving ahead of the Australian team right now. So a lot of work to do for Emma McKeon when she jumps in. I thought that Australian team on paper looked almost unbeatable. But it's the United States that are ahead of the world record. And the Australians in third. So the crowd are roaring. We'll see if they can bring them home. It's Claire Curzon. The 18-year-old sprinter in the water for the United States, and that leads 1.1 seconds 
over Canada and the Australians. We'll keep it on the world record. They're well inside world record pace now. What a swing this has been by Kurtzen. Brown swimming the last leg for the United States. Canada in second place. Sabah, McKeon it is in the water. And what a swim this is by McKeon. Uh, what a changeover from McKeon. Blast past the Canadian team and she's hunting the Americans down. Look at the crowd get after it. The winning team's going to break this world record. There's only 50 to go. We'll see what that lead is. It's 0.39. So McKean's really front-ended this to try and chase down Erica Brown. They're over right in front of world record line and McKean might be starting to take over. She's taken the lead now. The crowd has gone wild here. What a swim by McKeon. The United States in second. Australia looking for the world record and another gold medal. It is Emma McKeon bringing Australia home and the world record for the United States for the silver and Canada the bronze. But the Australians back on top of the world. 49-9 split for Emma McKeon, the fastest in history and delivers another gold in front of the home crowd here in Melbourne. World record for Australia, second gold medal of the championships. And they made that exciting. They come from behind. There are a few nervous coaches in the stands. But the job done. And the crowd, they are absolutely loving it here in Melbourne. What a last leap by McKeon. What a changeover to set up that last leg. And the girls in race, the world record holders, Molly O'Callaghan, Maddie Wilson, Meg Harris, and Emma McKeon. This was coming down to that McKeon changeover. The United States in, the Australians touched third, but McKeon quick off the blocks there and she just attacked it from the start. 49-9 split, the first sub 50 second split in women's history. And this was the third lap. She got over the top of Erica Brown. They put the experience of Brown on the anchor, but she's not the fastest of the United States swimmers, but they certainly know how to put the pressure on. The crowd were roaring, her teammates were cheering, and McKeon delivers as she does oh so often been on this relay team for the better part of 10 years and they are a tough quartet to beat. Wow. I think it's fair to say that was a popular win. World record 325-43 for Australia taking the gold medal in the 4x1 freestyle for women. The United States and Canada. Silver and bronze.